first one? What we were talking about? Uh, what is it called? Star Wars. Oh yeah, send Star me the link to the what you were looking at. Uh, I did. Let me send it again for you. So uh, because we're lazy, don't want to scroll two seconds. So fair. I don't. You did not send that to me. I did. Oh, you did? No. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I only scrolled up one. And, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Twenty things we learned from Star Wars Visions panel. Anime yeah, Expo, I spent. Anime I, Expo I was an Light. idiot. I was an idiot, and I spent like five bucks to actually get a pass to go to like the virtual animal, an, an animal anime expo, and uh, and then like thinking that for some reason they have exclusive content for some reason there, and and so now like uh, they just uploaded everything onto their website because of course they did, but whatever. It's who cares? Five bucks, whatever, you know. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I, I, I got to see a little bit of them talking about Studio Ghibli, so, like, that's cool, I guess. Oh. Um, they were talking about, uh, fucking, whatchamacallit, um... They were talking about something. fucking? Yeah, something about, something about the fact that there's, like, some Academy Museum of Arts or something. Like, a, the oh. Oscars are gonna be having their own museum or something that's, I think, opening later this year. They're gonna have, like, an exhibit for Studio Ghibli there, which... Oh. That's cool. So Very I was thinking cool. of visiting that when I go to celebration next year. So yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. So I think I think that's what we we're talking about. Yeah, I was I was either that one. No, yeah, because we were gonna go to the George Lucas Museum, but we didn't realize that that was not opening until like two years from now. So mm-hmm. I'm talking about shit that you don't care about in the slightest. But whatever. I care about a little bit. Hey, right, double check to see if you're still recording. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm still recording. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm still recording. Just check it. Check it periodically, just to make sure. Let me, let me just put this over here. I have two screens, so I'll just have this on my other screen. Bro, oh. same. Hey, I have I'm you cool. on my other screen. Hey, hey, well, look at that. I'm a cool well, guy. Let me pop so. this out, so it'll Hold be on. bigger. Oh, why don't I do that? Why don't I have both of us here? Okay, I can... I can shrink this screen. I'm I'm becoming a tech guy. Look at me. I'm I'm the tech guy. <laughs> okay. All right. I got. I'm the one. I who got texts. that there. This one goes there. And hold up, hold up. That one goes wow. there. Can I can I shrink this any more <clears throat> than I already have? Maybe. Maybe. Yes, I can. Yay, that worked! Yay, I did it. Hooray! Okay, okay alright. Uh, but yeah, so they, the, the first episode of the thing, which by the way, this entire show, the dual, the, what is it, the Visions show, the entire thing is going to be premiering at once. Because I think they're mainly doing that probably because of the fact of its length. I think the episodes they're not, are probably, They're not like half an hour episodes where they no nah, like i'm thinking minutes? probably at most it'll be 15 minutes i'm thinking um okay. it's uh, uh and it makes sense because it'd be kind of stupid to make people wait a week for like 5 10 15 minute things right like right and so and this is each episode is done by a different studio and different creator um i think there's two of them but are done by the same people i think what okay. is it yeah uh <sighs> Twin Engine Studios did uh, Lop and Ocho, and then and they also did Tatooine Rhapsody, which we'll get to all okay. this in a second. And then Those sound Science like the ones that Saru, like. Science Saru did Aka uh, Akakiri, which oh wait sounds like, like uh, this. These are coming out this year. Yeah, in September. Oh my goodness! September twenty second is when this premieres. Um. It's Akakiri and T zero B one. I see yeah, it. T zero B one is uh, the one that you really want to see. The the Astro yeah. one. Yeah. Well, so we'll start in order here with du- the duel. The duel is the one that I think looks the most interesting to me because I don't know jack about anime. And, yeah. The uh, duel by the duel by Kamikaze Duga. Uh, yeah, what you if... pronounce this shit because I I am bad at this. So. <laughs> the um, duel from Kamikaze Duga infuses Star Wars with Japanese iconography. All right, brother. Okay. So, 
So there's there's here's some shots from this. I'm I'm just gonna be scrolling through Twitter, and if I can't find these shots, then fuck it. I didn't screenshot anything. Okay. So fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm just putting this in Discord as well. These are all from the duel. Yeah, the black. It's the black and white one. Um, okay. Very cool. It's uh. I yeah, like, this um, is the one that looks interesting to me because this one, like, I I think about we talked about the whole canon conversation we had that we weren't recording, but whatever. Um, it's fine. But uh, the, the 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 thing that interests me the most about this one is that it seems like that it actually takes place after the sequel trilogy, which I think is pretty cool. Right. Yeah, because um, he's got they've got the like cool stormtrooper like armor. But like yeah, the, they they got like the first order look to them, but then some of them oh also yeah, look like order stormtroopers. Also, the yeah, some of them the one all the way like, on the uh, right and all the way on the left, they both look like Empire stormtrooper helmets, but the um, other guys look like. I, I uh, maybe it's not. It's like the plate. I'm just the, the I I I know too much about this shit, so. Uh, <laughs> you're Vince, you're the expert, uh, not me. <laughs> it's it's like the armor, like their chest plates are what look like. Some of them look like mm. first order chest plates. It's uh, so and some like some of them don't. What the guy, the guy with the the pauldron on the right, looks like he's got imperial looking like stomach right. plates, and then the guy that's on the left of the black robed figure has like the like the imperial like officer like armor piece like a general mm. veer oh yeah 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 thing. i know what you're talking about like the um, guys that wear the gray and the gray helmet yeah yeah if you look yeah. at like like what is it general veers or i think tarkin wears that in rebels yeah thrawn does too um it's that's all imperial stuff but then the helmets of everybody look like um more in line with um first order stuff. first order yeah yeah um i also like how i think also the guy on the far left the his chest plate looks a bit like clone wars era yeah a little bit i was even. gonna say that as well um because it, it's like the the more like I'm jagged edges the more jagged edges are more like imperial and and like clone wars while like mm -hmm. the rounded parts are where like the 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 new movies come into it the first and, I, and like and like i'll preface this this that none of this shit matters <laughs> like yeah. this 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 is probably just gonna be a thing that they're just gonna do and it really gloss over matter. yeah if but, it's good they'll just gloss over it <laughs> yeah but like i just think it's kind of cool like this could be our first content that we get that actually takes place like well after the events of the, the movies which is pretty cool so, yeah. Very, like, I think that's pretty cool. And I and like I still think all of this shit should still be canon because like I think it's stupid if it if they try to go all this way of just anything that goes outside the box of what Disney wants is not no no it's not part of the universe. Uh, all that no, no, no. all that goes out of the box of first party content, first party yeah, Disney content. Just just stuff that is more accessible to normal people, and that's basically all they try to do. And I just the don't normies. like that. They yeah, should this... they should they should try and make everything even if it's weird just make it part of what they're doing yeah. instead of making one thing to appeal to everybody make a bunch of shit just cover everything they have enough money exactly. to do that that's that's what this Exa looks it's like it's fucking disney we're talking about here man <laughs> like they can do whatever the fuck they want so okay i luckily people have screenshots of this so okay um so, what's so, next? so the dual one, yeah, and then you mentioned, I'm just going to point out, you mentioned that this is the one that looks most like Akira Kurosawa, which you're right. totally right. Look at this. This fucking, this droid has a fucking straw hat. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, this is the Akira Kurosawa one, which, fuck yeah, man, I'm down. I love uh, the, I'd uh... love if they could, like, make him, like, violent, but they're not going to do that. <laughs> Is that Chopper I see? <laughs> <laughs> chopper under the mask. Nah, it's, but fuck yeah, It's man. gotta I'm be down. him, bro. I'm down, man. So, uh, there, there was that one. And then the next one... Gino Studios Lop in Ocho. 
The visual yes. reflect its messaging. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, you're you're Japanese, so you can do that. I'm a quarter uh, Japanese. Eh, close enough. It's my accent, so it's okay, right? Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get canceled on our first non-real podcast episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but the that one Lop and Ocho, uh, Ocho is that one seems to be the most connected to the universe. Oh, like, it's, it's the one with the the bunny person. I should have assumed because we'll the person's name is Lop. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get to the bunny person in a second here. But uh, where's the rule thirty four, Aaron? Are you gonna show me? <laughs> I would be shocked if it doesn't already exist, honestly. That's what I'm saying. It's gotta <laughs> That's be. That's what I'm saying. There. It's been it's been what four hours since they premiered this? They gotta have it. <laughs> it's gotta be out there. Um, yeah. but uh, what should we call it? The uh, that one. If you look, they showed off like constant art for it that had like like K two S O esque robots and uh, people in like imperial looking shit and. There was, like, what is it? The Patrol Trooper, which was something from uh, Solo. Uh, they, like, had all these designs for things that were, like, this is stuff from regular Star Wars. So, mm. so like, I, I feel like this is the one that they're most connected to shit with. Which, maybe that means this is the one they're doing the book for, but oh, I don't yeah. fucking know. Like, I don't know. But who cares, honestly? Um, but yeah, I uh, I don't know. I think that one looks. I think that one looks fun. I uh, I don't know send, what's going on with. Send the... some screenshots. Give me a you second. You found anything on Twitter? No. Okay. Yeah, no, I did. I just I'm fucking with something. I'm sorry. I this was I, I was thinking about K2SO and my figure of him uh, coincidentally fell over. So. <laughs> So, you want to see that sexy anime bunny? <laughs> I guess so. Perfect time to cut back in. You want to see that sexy <laughs> anime bunny? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's got, like, a Dragon Ball thing on her face, too. Like, that, like, Dragon Ball, like, power meter reader thing. Oh, yeah. The, oh, I don't even remember what they're called. I know I know what that is. I know, I know something about anime, at least. Yeah. So, I, I forget what that. it was called, but... Vegeta, what's his power level? Oh, wait, is that what he says? <clears throat> or is it... It's over 9,000! Yeah. Well, um, she does look like an anime bunny. Yeah, man. Nice. So, okay, so there's that. I don't have any of the shots of the K2SO thing. Maybe I do. I don't know. That's fine. All right, let me look here. It's gonna bug me. What no, is that? Is this like stuff that they talked about that's not in the trailer? Yeah. Yeah, because the panel was like thirty minutes oh, okay. long. Okay. So. That's pretty cool. I uh, I feel like I wasted my time watching that panel because they basically summed up everything in a three-minute video. Much better, <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Well, now we're getting uh, the exclusive okay. content of you talking about the things that you can't find. I mean, but I've already forgotten about it. It's been like. <laughs> four hours and i've already forgotten your attention span it. doesn't last four hours yeah like what do you, what do you think i am like I'm, i don't i don't know all this shit like i only, I only know 95 percent of the shit all of it oh there was a robot that looks like bd1 so that's Ooh, that was cool we love bd1 we stand was, bd1 and chopper was, here there was the uh, two best droids in star there wars this, there was this guy this dude with the, with the he looks like he looks like bd1 he looks like BD-1. He does. Uh, I don't know what it is. He's a lunchbox droid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. but I'm He's a down. bento I droid. <laughs> I dig it. Love him. And then this, I don't know. there was also this guy. He looks very... This samurai, samurai-looking samurai motherfucker. This guy looks very, uh, what? very anime and fewer Star Wars, but that's fine. Anime-looking guy. All right, this is anime right here. You could not you could not convince me that this was Star Wars, besides the TIE Fighters <laughs> in the bottom right. Oh yeah, I didn't even see this. But yeah, uh I can't find any of the pictures of K two SO and all that shit. If I find it then whatever. Luckily there's a hashtag on Twitter, so I can just go through all that right. shit, so that's nice. 
Thank you, Twitter, for allowing me to do yeah, that. This is very Japanese. Okay. So that that one looks the most connected, and I don't remember what the story is. They explained this shit. I can't remember. <laughs> they might talk about it on the. Oh, here we go. Gen Genosterius Lapinocho. The visuals reflect its messaging. The design style on this short really focuses on the collision between natural beauty and encroaching industrialization, says Lopez, with the empire representing the march of technology. Uh, her name is Lop, and we love her already. She is cute and expressive and completely unwavering in her devotion to good and family and loyalty. She's awesome, and we ex we're way excited to see the pornography that'll be made of her. <laughs> is that in the article? <laughs> I added that last part. I, I, I added that last part. Uh, that's so terrible. Uh, it's so terrible. It's so fast. Also, the internet. I, I, that, was, that was the best reading I've done in a very long time. I am surprised yeah. that it stumbled. <laughs> surprised you made it all the way through. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Uh, they have they have things they say about a lot of this stuff. They they do our work for us, which is good. So. <laughs> All right, what's next? Okay, so the next one. Uh, the next one is, yeah, Tatooine Rhapsody, which they said is going to be a rock opera. I saw that. <laughs> it's a sort of a pop opera. Um, like shop. This a pop one. Opera. So this one is, they gonna said, is the also one. one of the few that's, yeah, man. No, nah, but they said this one's going to be um, actually, like, one of the few that's fully connected to, like, the movies. Because uh, Jabba the Hutt's going to be in it. Okay. Uh, which this is not him. The thing I'm sending you <laughs> right now is not him. <laughs> that's not Jabba the Hutt. Um, and uh, Boba Fett's going to be in it. Oh, I love this. And, um... <laughs> He looks uh, like Mr. I'm down. Lunt. I dig it. He looks like a Star Wars version of Mr. Lunt. What's that? I don't know. What it's that from is. Veggie Tales. Oh, I know Veggie Tales. This guy. Wait, wait. Dude, I'm Give upset you're not recording. I'm, I'm, I'm upset you're not recording my screen. Look at my, look at my beautiful, relaxed face. Wait, wait. Wait, why can't I just stop? No, 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 copy image. Copy image. Oh, this is so difficult. <laughs> copy image. I could just Google it. No, 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 no. Not good enough. Not good enough, Aaron. It has to be in the Mr. Discord. <laughs> Here he is. I He's in chat now. Oh. Oh, oh I can see that. He's like yeah, a I punk, know who that is. punk Mr. Lunt. He's the, he's the sleazy guy from VeggieTales. Yeah, That's he's right. the cheeseburger. Silly, silly songs with Larry. I forgot about Veggie Tales. I haven't thought about them that in like years. I miss Veggie like, Tales. Veggie Tales and Bible Man are my two things when I grew up. I'm so surprised you actually watched. I never heard of Bible Man until someone made like a video about it. It's like, are you serious? Dude, I watched Bible existing? Man all the time as a kid. It sucks, <laughs> but I remember watching that. I uh, I pulled that up once at school because they had like episodes of it on on uh on YouTube, and I watched some of it, and I left it on. We were doing like projects in class <laughs> and. Then, we were like we were like going around to like different computers, and I left it on because I thought it was funny. And then when I got back, somebody uh somebody changed the YouTube to make it uh say like how to do a school shooting or something. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh and like I I almost got in really big trouble until I explained like no nah, I just left Bible Man on there I thought it was funny, <laughs> and and then uh. And then I was, like, laughing because I'm like, this is the most people have talked about Bible Man in probably <laughs> 10 years. So right. Was, that, was, that was a hell of an experience that happened there. All right. But, yeah. So this, uh, this Boba Fett. Back to Fett. everyone's favorite Star Wars visions. Yay. Boba Fett. But yeah. Uh, Boba Fett. Is he, does he just um, look young because it's anime or... Or what? That's, I don't know. I was thinking he looked young. So maybe he is young. I think he's young. just little. I don't know. <laughs> they just made him look little. He looks he looks like he... But I mean, like, he could be younger because in the Clone Wars, they established that he got his that armor when he was pretty young. Yeah. So, I mean, he could be. Because, like, I love how, like, in the Bad Batch, they have it so uh, they confirmed that the whole, like, shootout with Cad Bane has already happened. Because, um... Cad Bane has this like metal plate on the top of his head. Mm. 
So, like, he got fucked up by Boba Fett, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I wish we would have seen it, but also, I still think that if we did see it in the Clone Wars, then um, they would have killed Cad Bane. Right. I still think he was going to die there. So I am happy that he didn't. Um, but uh, you mentioned how we stand, what is it, Chopper and BD-1. Right. Uh, add Cad Bane to that list. Oh, yeah, we um, stand Cad Bane, BD-1, and Chopper. Uh, what do the other um, characters look like? Because if we look at the other character, like other human characters, this looks we like can, one of the gorillas characters. We can probably right deduce if he's if Boba Fett's young or not. It looks like one of the characters from the. Gorillas I think yeah, it does look like two D. A little bit. So is he a kid? Um, this is a kid, right? I think it's a kid. Because if it's a kid, then Boba Fett is definitely yeah. a child. One of the things that I think is a, one of the biggest criticisms of this whole rollout of stuff for the Visions show is they just didn't show any of this shit in motion. Like, they only showed, like, stills. I don't know why they did that. Really? Like, this is animation. Show the motion <laughs> show of the it. Animation. Well, did they, did they not have it in the trailer? No, it was all just stills. There oh. was no movement of anything. <laughs> maybe it's so. I don't think there was. Maybe it's so short that uh, they don't want to give any of it away. <laughs> they want to like show the whole thing in the preview because yeah. it's just short. I don't know. Yeah, well, I I just feel like it's. It looks really cool. It's just like I want to see it. Right. Well, mm -hmm. you have to wait until it comes out to see it. I mean, it's not that far away. So fuck yeah. it. It's like three Too months. months. Two it's months. Not far at all. July, August, September. Fuck yeah, man. Right? I did my months Fuck right. It's like, it's like end of September, so about three. About a little more than three months. Yeah, I guess you A little right. more than two months. So, looks fucking sweet, man. I'm down. But, uh, yeah, so the, the rock opera. Star Wars rock opera on Tatooine. Sure. Whatever. This was the one that they said was the most weird for them because it's like, this is not really Star Wars at all. <laughs> but they're like, oh, well, we can. We can make that what we're doing and make it weird. Sure. Yeah. Just like whatever. Sure. Let me, let me yeah. read this article. Rock thing. operas are like. Uh... Oh I'll, yeah. I'll read the that. article. Told through a more chibi yeah. art style, Tatooine Rhapsody is heading into uncharted Star Wars waters. It's a Star Wars rock opera, said Rhymes in the story of the story about a band with a dream to make it big. We took a chance, and they just blew us away with the style and characters and the tone, and really the heart of what is best in Star Wars, uh, about found family and the dream. Oh. Okay. It's also about a few <laughs> sh shorts to feature classic characters, as our heroic band will run into Boba Fett and Jabba Fett. Uh, Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> Jabba Fett, yeah, man. Boba the Hutt and Jabba yeah, Fett. <laughs> Yeah, man. No, nah, but, uh, whatever. Sure. Whatever. Yeehaw. Uh, the one thing I could say for certain is this is definitely not the one they're making a novel about. Really? Um. And they're not gonna, like, write a musical uh, novel? I don't know. Rock operas are such, like, hit or miss for me. I I'm not a big Rocky Horror Picture Show guy. I couldn't really get into it. But, uh, I loved, um, Phantom of the Paradise. That movie fucking rocks. Nice. I've never um, watched. Just... Dude, tangent. We're, we're going on a tangent <laughs> when I well, while I explain what Phantom of the Paradise okay. is. Um, that movie fucking rocks. There's a guy in that movie named, I think, Beef. There's a character in the movie named Beef. Yeah, Beef. yeah there's a character in the movie named Beef. Big uh, Beefer. It's basically, it's, it's basically Phantom of the Paradise and I think something called Faust, which I don't know much about Faust. Like Dr. Story, Faust? I think. And I th you mean the, the the leading health expert in our country? Not Fauci. Doctor Faust was like a, a in the the English canon of literature. I don't know who that is. I, I forget, but it's something British. No, but it's it's just like this guy named Winslow who's like a really good singer, but he doesn't get his he can't he can't get his his due because oh. this guy named swan let me interject it won't let him let me let me mm -hmm. make a correction i did some fact checking the name is dr faustus by christopher marlowe okay continue sorry oh so that sounds even more like fauci <laughs> i was right no but uh so winslow is this guy who 
Um, was like really good at singing, and he's he's really good, but he's not he's not cool enough to to be part of Swan's show, The Paradise. And uh, but but Swan loves his song, which is like singing about his his love, and he wants to wants to sing to his love or whatever. He wants to uh, sing. And, and then and Winslow gets betrayed by Swan, and ultimately uh, Winslow ends up trying to destroy Swan, but it's instead destroys himself and uh, ends up creating himself to become a monster who's who's the Phantom. It looks like this. The Phantom of this the Opera? Costume. It's Phantom of the Paradise. Uh, and so he vows vengeance on... He, he vows vengeance on uh, Swan. And it's great. I love this movie. Great. It's awesome. <laughs> it's great. It's a great movie. I love it. All right. It's it's fucking weird and wild. I'll, I'll but, believe uh, you. It's it's great. We're gonna watch this movie at some point. Okay. Here. <laughs> you seem super interested. No, I'm I yawning. Um, we'll make it a date. <laughs> so this is all getting cut out too, isn't it? No, this is staying. <laughs> No, but, uh, yeah, I like Phantom of the Paradise. Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show is not really my thing, And though. you'll soon be really able to add that. Tattooing Rhapsody to those rock operas you like. Dude, that's the, one of the best rock operas there is, man. Tattooing Rhapsody. All right. So next, next, uh, away from our tangent, next is The Twins, which I think might be the coolest one of the bunch. It looks really fucking cool. Uh, I want to see it. I don't remember um, what it looks like from oh the trailer. God, I keep I keep losing the page that I was on. Give me a second. I'm I closed it when I was looking up Phantom of the Paradise. Let me explore. No, not the twins. Star Wars Visions. There we go. Okay, the twins. The twins is about they compared it to Luke and Leia. It's twins, but instead of them on the light side, they're on the dark side. Mm. It's brother and sister. They're twins. <laughs> brother and sister. And something twins. About, yeah, it's something about they like the brother is gonna fight to oh save his God. sister or, or something. This looks and so very anime. <laughs> Yeah, it's it looks cool. I, I'm down. I, I think this looks pretty sweet. Yeah, this one. Uh, I don't know what does it look like. This one looks more. It looks like, like American anime. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe not. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, anime. By the way, I've seen. I mean, I'm just I'm just agreeing with you. So I I mean I saw Avatar and that's <laughs> that it. doesn't I, count I, as I, anime. I that. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. It really doesn't count. So. No, I've seen, um, it's, uh, I've seen, what have I watched? I've seen four episodes of Cowboy Bebop. I have seen all of One Punch Man. I've seen, like, two episodes of JoJo and all the Ghibli movies. I think that... Oh, yeah, I saw those. Those are good. And I think, uh, oh, I think Ghibli's, Ghibli movies don't really count as watching anime because they're movies. And oh, they, I'd like, say they do. They, they, like, borrow more American storytelling techniques than anime do. Nah, I say they count. I say they count. No, because it's I'm like a, you're... I'm, 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 a, I'm a schlubby white guy. Give me give me something. <laughs> give, let me be a weeaboo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I want my... I want to at least say I saw some anime. I, I do... I Except will for say... Dragon Ball when I was, like, four. Oh, yeah, I've seen episodes of Dragon Ball. That counts. I do like the colors a lot in this. It. They've got good colors. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, I like this one. This one looks cool. And I, I like how it, it it's like gives me that like vibe of something like extreme Star Wars power fantasies that people right. love. <laughs> that everybody like, uh, likes the to JR too. JR. Yeah, J-O. Man. Uh, yeah, fucking Yeah, man. Uh the guy from Dallas. What? That's a reference. That don't worry about it. Oh, this is concept art. But this looks great. Uh, Unless it's not. Yeah, man. Love it. I'm down. I think this one sounds sweet. Love it. Um. So there's. Oh, I keep fucking doing that, man. I don't want to do that. There we go. Oh, here's a character. I found one of the Imperial characters. Uh, going back, this is one of the Imperial characters from the 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 one with the bunny. Oh. Character from Bunny. I found that. 
Ooh, hot. Why are you typing all this shit? So that, like, post this yeah, on well, when, I'm gonna make like a video version and I'll just put in these in the video while we're talking about it. Oh, okay. Sure, man. Yeah. Okay, are you gonna have to look up all this shit about the Phantom of the Paradise? No, I, I won't have to, because you'll just talk about it and it'll just, it'll be black and then I'll pop, plop <laughs> in there. No, I'll figure out a way to just like, there's like some, I don't know. Just like, like waveform. You just have no no audio in the background other than just me <laughs> talking about Phantom of the uh, Phantom of, Phantom of something. All right. Phantom of the Paradise, beef, Fan and, and Winslow. Phantom of the Pancake. All right. Uh, but yeah, this one sounds this sounds cool. I I'm down. The twins. Like, the twins does look pretty these, cool. They look like Inquisitors, which yeah, I think is pretty cool. That is too. cool. I keep trying to connect this to the larger universe, which I feel like I probably shouldn't. No, don't do I that. Don't care. Yeah, they, they, one, care. they look very inquisitory and very, like, power hung, power fantasy Star Wars, but at the same time, this looks, this is the most anime looking one to me. Like, when I think this of one, anime. Honestly, they talk about, i am keep, sorry, continue. When you talk about anime, that was, like, the most basic anime, but, like, lots of colors. Wait, they Demon Slayer. Does this look like about... Demon Slayer? Sorry. Continue. That's an anime. I know that. Uh, but, uh, whatchamacallit. So they talk about how the one is the rock opera. This one looks like it could be a fucking rock opera, man. <laughs> this one would be a more intense rock opera. I think that... It looks like... What was that? What's that game? What's, like, the VR game where you, like... Beat Saber? Slice up shit. Yeah, it gives me, like, vibes of that. Yeah. I mean... I think the, the cartoony style fits better for a rock opera because of how silly a rock opera is. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Yeah, that's Demon okay, Slayer so... that I just put in. Something from Demon okay. Slayer. I don't know what. <laughs> so the next one is by the same studio. Uh, Trigger. Trigger. Did both <laughs> Trigger. Trigger is. Okay, so the next one is called The Elder. Which is following two Padawans. And it's like typical Star Wars adventure with two hmm. Padawans. Oh. And they look like they come across some crazy Sith dude. This kind of looks... And... Um, this kind of looks like it's 3D animated. No, they're not... Did I say two Padawans? I meant it's a Master and Apprentice. That's what I meant. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Maybe not. I, like I take it back. Guy... I didn't even hear what you said. I'm sorry. I said that it, it kind the one the first picture you sent, they kind of look like slightly like how they do 3D animated, but make it look like it's 2D. I said this kind of looks like oh, that. I could see but that. But the I don't, these I don't other think that's what it is, but I can see that. The other two pictures you sent don't look like that. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's some some weird crazy Sith guy fighting with um this master and apprentice and that's about all they said about this one i think uh they said i think that they said the title is gonna like be like a metaphor or something and it's gonna like this one lady kind of was a bit too spoilery and she gave away some information she said like the title is gonna have like a double meaning or something by the end of it where it's like at the start it means one thing at the end it means another thing or something mm. uh but that's that's about all they said about this one there wasn't much this could be... I could easily see this being the one. Um, there's a bunch of these, but this could easily be the one that I think is the book. But I think there's one that I think more makes more sense towards the end. It's actually the last one, I think. Yeah, the last one is the one. I think that's the book. Um, oh, we'll get there. But yeah, this one looks cool. We'll get there. Um, this does look cool. This one, yeah, I think I'm down with this one. I don't know if uh, I... I don't really know what... I don't know if I'm as interested yeah, in this one than... Uh the other ones so far yeah i mean whatever uh, it looks it looks like a star wars thing mm -hmm. i mean fuck it right you guys got a cool like katana looking lightsaber which is pretty sweet yeah love love it um this just looks really basic so in these shots i don't know that's yeah that's very true um so then uh next is the one that i the next two i don't remember much about at all honestly and i feel really bad for that but I feel like they also didn't give much information about these two either. 
The next one is called The Village Bride. Um, and I honestly don't remember. Oh, really here. I'll read The one. Village Bride part of the article. So, um, Okay, that's fair. The guardian of peace and justice observes a local tradition in a far-off village through the eyes of a bride on the eve of her wedding day and an unexpected choice okay. she must make to save her people. It's poetic, meditative, and romantically bittersweet, Shirisaki, Shirisaki said. This short also approaches the Force in a really unique and surprising way. That's from the one with the boy. Yeah, it's the same character. It's the same so. lady. Okay, uh, I, am, I can't find any pictures of... The, one with the, the Village the Bride, the bride the by Kinema Citrus follows a fallen Jedi, but not in a way you'd expect. Okay. Uh. <laughs> sure. Um. Whatever. We see more pictures. We'll uh, talk about it a little bit more, but. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Twitter <laughs> is not doing me he any favors right now. That's okay. We can go on to the next one because I'm more excited to talk about these ones. <laughs> look for mm. look for the next ones, Aaron. I want to talk about Astro. No, Boy. I want to find I want to find a picture. I want to find okay. a picture. Okay. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm stubborn. I'm gonna do this. Oh, here we go. Here's one. I got a picture. We're gonna we're gonna do this picture. Here we go. This is the only picture I could find. So, fuck it. Here we go. The Villa's Bride. Ying. Oh. Oh, this is the one that had, like, the lineless art style. Sure. Yes. Exactly. It's real pastel exactly and, like, painterly. Oh, okay. And there's not, like... I don't I don't know. The story seems kind of whatever. Yeah, this this seems like one of those ones that's just, like, the, the guy on the bus that wears the anime hat. And he's like, oh. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I love that guy. He goes, oh. You gotta watch this anime. And you watch it, and they don't say anything for about 20 minutes. And then the episode's over. <laughs> yeah, man. They say some also, shit in Japanese. Also, I saw this picture. <laughs> this picture, they keep they keep having posted, this one picture. But I have no idea what this one's from. And it looks really cool, but I don't know what episode this is from. So, I don't know. This one, right here... Here's another really cool picture. This one's from the one with the bunny also. Ooh. There's a lot of them that are from the one with the bunny. That's a nice image. Yeah, the one with the X-Wing looks really cool, but I don't know what it is. It's an X-Wing. The one that's like the... <laughs> the one... Well, yeah. Uh, the one with the hanger Ooh. is really cool looking. These are... That one is from the one with the bunny. Yeah. And then I think this next one, I think, is from the one we're going to talk about next. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Hold on. Daddy likes transition. This one, <laughs> this yes, yes, one yes. Daddy likes. is from the next one, which is called Akakiri. Akakiri, which is which is another Aka. one I don't what does remember Aka really mean? anything about. Isn't that like a bad? I don't know. Don't I know nothing about Japanese? It makes me think of that movie uh, Tangent. It makes me think of that other movie uh, called ha Harry Kiri. Kiri Kiri, which or is Hattic. yeah, which. Hirakiri. H-A-R-A. Oh, yeah. That's a... Akira Kurosawa, isn't it? No, Damn it. it's not. But it's, like, super similar, though. It's very oh, similar. This one was on yeah, HBO. would not be... Yeah, this, this one's good. It's really good. It's, like, this guy who, like... His... I think his, like, friend or his son or something is, like, murdered. Spoilers. I'm spoiling this movie. Uh, he there he's this kid or friend or something is murdered, and he like goes to visit, or he goes to this group of like elders that killed that like forced his son to like kill himself or something, and he like says he's gonna commit Hirakiri, which is like this like ritualistic yes. like ritualistic suicide. suicide. That's not seppuku. Yeah. Right. It's, it's a different one. It's a one. different yeah, one. It's different. It's, it's like seppuku. belly cutting. Well, that's what seppuku is too, isn't it? But this one I don't think involves a couple getting of, your head cut A couple off. of white dudes just trying to assume Japanese culture. I 
saw this movie. I, it was a good movie. It, it was a really good movie. It makes me think of that. Okay. And it's got this great. It's got this great fight. Uh, it's not this thing I'm sending you. This is not the fight that was really cool. Okay. But this is a cool fight though. This isn't the fight I was talking about though. That's a cool fight. Okay. But that's not the fight I was. What talking movie about. is that from? That's from this movie, but it's it's another fight in the movie. Oh, okay. It's another fight in the, the Hari Kiri. Yeah, but there's a different. This is the fight at the end. It's the cooler okay. one. Okay. It's a good movie. Isn't though. that guy the guy on the rights in uh, the Kira Kurosawa movies? Yeah, he. Uh, oh, I'm not even. Is he Yojimbo? I feel really bad. No, Yojimbo. Yojimbo is Obi Wan, the guy who's gonna be Obi Wan, but he asked to be Obi Wan. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna post the guy's name because I I do not. Tatsuya Nakadai. That one. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. There you go. Tatsuya Nakadai. And then the guy who was going to be Obi-Wan, who's here, Jimbo, is, uh, what is it? Hatsuro H- H- Mifuni, I think oh, okay. his name is. He, they're both, oh. I, I can see why you get okay. mixed up, because they're like leads in a bunch of they these have, movies. So they have similar totally hair that. and like a same face. He, this guy was in Seven Samurai. They're, they're leads in, they're both leads in a lot of these old Samurai okay. movies, so I can right. totally I see to, why you get them mixed we, up. We're, all, we're on so. tangent now. <laughs> oh yeah, movie tangent, I love it. it Tatsuro Mifuni is a good-looking guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. How do you spell it? Look at this fucking guy. Hatsuro. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. What's his name? How do you spell it? Uh, to- Toshiro. Oh, Toshi- I said Hatsuro. It's Toshiro right. Mifuni. That's what I meant to say. Mifune. To- Toshiro Mifuni. Mifune. You could be right. Wow, his hair yeah. can do anything, can't it? Good looking guy. He is quite attractive. Oh man, his bro. His picture on no maybe not. I take it back. Oh He was in like he's in like Rashomon, he's Jimbo. He looks he's in Seven Samurai. Oh, my. He's Look in He's in the Hidden Fortress. He's in Hell yeah, man. He looks like my uncle. He's in that he's oh yeah, he's in high and low also. I don't remember him in that. He's been in a lot of freaking movies. He's in like four movies a year. <laughs> oh, he was also in this oh movie with uh, this one movie that was fucking sweet. That sounds really good. That I really want to watch with Lee Marvin in it, where it's like it's called Hell in the Pacific. Yeah, that's what this picture is like from. A... That I sent. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's cool. It's like this guy. It's like this American soldier and this Japanese soldier during World War Two are like crashed on this island together and they have to survive together. Uh, it looks really good. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to check that one. I want to get at some. I want to get VHSs of like a bunch of these old Japanese movies. Dude, that'd be fucking sweet, man. And that'd be, be a great way to watch yeah, these. I got. Be on the look for this. I got like crisp. I got like crisp blue. You got the crisp cr- criterions, and I'm gonna get the fuzzy VHS. Fuck yeah, man! I got I got Seven Samurai. I got here. Oh, I wish. Uh, I got here Kiri. I got Hidden Fortress. My, I got. My dad gave away uh, the, the uh, VH- Ron. I got my that one. My dad gave away the VHSs of Seven Samurai because it was taking up so much space. Because there's three tapes, so. <laughs> I've never seen a three tape before. Holy shit! I think it was three tapes. <laughs> it was a lot. That makes a well, Seven Samurai is fucking long, so I could totally see that. Uh, it's crazy how long that movie is. But whatever. Tangent. <laughs> uh, the what is it? Heka we, a- a- Akakiri. Akakiri. Star Wars. I don't know. I don't know what that one's about at all. It's Akakiri. It's a beautiful yet painful um, story about a princess," said Shirasaki. Of uh, Akiri, so okay, that's fun. Got any pictures of that one or no? Uh, yeah, the one uh, skipping through attractive Japanese man. The <laughs> the la- the most recent picture of of the Star Wars stuff. The one oh, with like the yeah, sunset. the one with the gateway. That one's from yeah. That I I'm like ninety five percent sure that's from that one. Okay, I think so. Okay, so. I don't know anything else about this one though. They really didn't talk much about it. All right. But uh, whatever. I'm down. Yeah. 
So, if it, I don't think it's going to be about Japanese ritualistic suicide, probably. But uh, I mean, it's a never painful know. story about a princess. I have a feeling it just may be about suicide because that's that's part of the culture. <laughs> That sounds so it's terrible. It's very Disney and Star Wars. It's it's very Disney they and Star Wars. They definitely let them do that. Sad. Yeah, man. Nah, but uh fuck it. Whatever. A cute, adorable sure. droid who dreams to be a Jedi. Oh no. Oh. Oh, well yeah, that's the next one. <laughs> Sorry, I was yeah, reading that's, ahead. That's, uh... Well, we can we can go to it cuz I got nothing else about this one, so before we get racist, so <laughs> Or after we get racist. Yeah. Uh, or you me get racist, not me. me no, get, I'm, uh, not, I'm not putting my... Uh, uh, assuming culture. Yeah, anyways. Yes, I, my dog is snoring. I don't know if you can hear him, but he is. I can't hear it. You're fine. I can't okay. hear it. I'm sweating. It's fucking hot in here, man. Oh, my God. No, but, uh... Yeah, next is Star Wars Astro Boy. Oh, man. Send me them pics. I know there I mean, are pics of Star Wars Astro Boy. I love Astro Boy so much. Oh, yeah. There's plenty. There's plenty of pics of this that one. This one's so find exciting. Them. Oh, also, I saw... I'm looking down farther in the, the article, and it, the sound engineer of uh, the classic anime series of Astro Boy is lending mm -hmm. his talents in Akiri. But, oh, okay. But which, but That's which cool. there was one in like the '60s, and then there was one in the '90s. But which one? Well, here we go. Which? No, actually, there I think is... there were three Astro Boys. There was a movie that came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that. that was that was so American. Sorry, <laughs> for me to say. Oh, then I could totally see that. No, I could totally see that. So there's that. There's that. Oh, uh, he's adorable. This is also from that one, I think. I love him. It's like a Star Destroyer. It's the like mighty missing Autumn. all of its detail. That was also from that, I think. Star Wars? What? Ah, yes, I was right. There were three anime series of Astro Boy. One from 1963. Um, one from oh, 1980. Yeah. And one from 2003. I think okay. I, I watched a lot of the 2003 one, which I liked a lot. But I did read the manga. Okay. A lot. My my from? dad watched. This looks sweet. Wow, it's sixty-three. My dad watched. Oh, the this old is one. from. Oh, so, so this is the. Okay, so this. All right, I'll leave that up. That's from the next one we're gonna talk about. Okay. I think this is from. Oh, here. All right. Oh God, this is from the 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 one you like. Here we go. <laughs> what do you What do you mean? It's inspired by Astro Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it at all. Wait, let me... Oh, my gosh. Doctor... They, his name in... His name in the oh American God. version is Dr. Elephant, but... It's Oshonomizu. Oh this is this is this is uh, this is too cute for me. I'm not I'm not a cute I'm not a cutesy thing guy. Th there he's adorable. No. Are you kidding me? And his trash can friend. I'm not, I don't, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna like shit on it. Like it's just cutesy things aren't my thing. So. Look at that. Oh, here's another picture if you need it. This is this is from. Hold on, we're going backtracking. This is from the elder. This is crazy Sith Lord guy that they're gonna meet in that one so we're talking about crazy sith lord guy there's that uh, from the elder the one with the padawan and then mm -hmm. his beard is split into mm -hmm. three <laughs> <laughs> that was i i guarantee you there was like some japanese characters there and they just like whited it out and put the english yeah uh that very yeah that looks no no that looks like a thing that would be said by an american his though. beard is split <laughs> you're right you're so right yeah, that looks that looks like something some executive said or something from Disney. Like, hey, split his beard into <laughs> three; it'll look good. <laughs> um. Also, this is from the Village Bride. I I I run across all these fucking screenshots after we talked about this. Oh, shit, where can you watch Astro Boy? Which one? All of them. I want to see if they're on any streaming service. It says. Okay, here is well. Here's your tangent. So. Oh yeah. Oh, freaking! I had this this 
stint and like that's in that's in the village Brian. i had the stint yeah. in elementary school to like early middle school where like it pained me so much that i just wanted to live in astro boy i would like go to sleep and pray to wake up in astro boy world because i just i just loved the characters in astro boy so much like Astro That's Boy sweet, and man. his like human friends. I was like, I want to be one of them. I want to walk around and be nice to my robot trash can and have a friend that's a robot and talk about the real the real issues like AI having souls or not. That's cool, man. Yeah. So that's my one tangent. Um, no, you get you get another one at some point. Some here. point. Well, we'll get an, we'll get on a tangent. I just like... All right, so the next sorry. one... Okay, I will uh, stop my day. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You can continue. I was just going to say, I uh, just like... Uh, I like the... Like in this... this The Astro Boy one. What is it called? T103. Oh, oh yeah, I was going to say that. It's T... It's T Toby! A, it's T0... T0B1 or is it TB01? Because they changed it here. I think... <laughs> Oh no, it's T it's T zero B one, which I think she I think the lady who spoke too say, much about information. Say, it, it Toby was the name of Astro Boy's human counterpart who died. His name was Toby. Oh and right? I'm fairly certain. Oh Um uh. let me look in this plot. Astro Boy is future side robots focus on Astro Boy. Powerful Android Cabin Administrator, Dr. Tenma. Dr. Tenma created Astro in his place of his son Tobio. Sorry. I was close. His son Tobio ah, died. Enough. Close enough. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. I w his name was Toby in the 1980s 80s English dub and in the 2009 film. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. No, but, uh,. Uh, the lady said it was like it's like it's like Obi One. She said something about Obi One, uh, because it's like O B One. Oh, well. T O B One. So that's cool. So like, I that makes me think that Obi One's gonna be in this because she kept talking about Obi One. <laughs> so like maybe like maybe the little droid's gonna run into Obi One and he's gonna be like, "You can be a Jedi someday, little one, if you just believe hard enough." Or something. Forces in all living things. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, because they said like the the the, the our rock opera one was gonna be like one of the few that have pre-existing characters in it. So like, I think there's gonna be more mm -hmm. characters we recognize. Mm -hmm. Cause that Star Wars is Star Wars is like, it's Star Wars fucking jerks off to pre-existing characters. characters that we know yeah. Of things. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um. So yeah, uh, so that yeah, that's about all we know about that one. Um, and then the last one, which they talked a bit about, the last one is called the Ninth Jedi. Um, and here's some here's some here's some stills. The Ninth from that Jedi. One. What about the Eighth Jedi? Well, what well, about so one through that. eight? I will explain. Okay, that. thank you. Um, ah yes, anime. I so forgot. so this one, this one they said was gonna be two stories, but then they said we're gonna meld these two stories into one story, and that's what we got. So the one story was gonna be about a like a young girl, who's like a lightsaber smith mm. person who like makes lightsabers, and it's her like going to bring lightsabers that she made to a group of Jedi that she doesn't even know are still alive or not. Um, excuse me. Um, excuse on, me. Let me interject. Aren't Jedi supposed to make their own lightsabers? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, yes. but she, so she's making lightsabers for these people and, and she's got to bring her lightsabers to them. So that's one. And the other story is about Eight people, eight, notice eight, eight, not nine, eight, eight people that are, like, going on this mystical journey or some shit, like, 
trying to... They, like, don't even know if they are Jedi or something. And it's basically them... They, like, they don't even know if they have the Force or something. And it's something about... I don't even know. They were going on about something like that. They were coming. And, uh... Sorry. Something like that. It's, uh... But, yeah. Uh, that's, this is the one they seem to put the most effort into. Oh. I don't know if that means it's, like, the best one or anything. But this is... Like, they said they had this whole, like, fucking symphony that's gonna be doing the score for this one and shit. So, it's, like... This seems to be the one they're most impressed it's with. Like Sailor Moon. Just, just based the, off the of the one looks like Sailor the Moon. way they were talking about it. The like the girl at the top. No, the the one at the bottom. That's the still like. Oh yeah, yeah. That's 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 the lightsaber. No, the there. other ones don't look Sailor Moony. Sailor, you know Sailor Moon, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah Everyone that. knows Sailor Moon's like probably the most. The biggest anime. That's not Dragon Ball. Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, but yeah, uh, this one looks, this one looks, this one looks cool. I, I'm down. Um, I also think this is the one, I think this is the one the book's about. Yeah, I can, I can uh, see that. Uh, I think, I think the ninth Jedi is going to be our Ronin. I don't know guy. if it's the way you have prefaced explaining it or maybe it's just the story. It really does seem like this one can get a novel out of it. I feel, I just, I feel like there's a lot here for this one. Yeah. Like there's a lot of content they put into this one, which is why it's like, I feel like they're going to make more out of mm -hmm. this. But also like the Akira Kurosawa one is like a lone warrior and it's like i could easily see that being the ronin one i don't know it's, it's, who fucking cares we'll figure it out eventually the book comes out on october 5th i think so it's like uh i think it's like the week after the show i think let me see it's pretty soon after hmm. uh so the show comes out september 22nd which is a hold on that's of wednesday it's weird and then the two wednesdays after is the sixth no the fifth so yeah two wednesdays after is the sixth so then the tuesday before that so it's like two weeks cool so, and that's when the book comes out hmm. del rey who publishes the book was talking about it and they were like Oh, we can't give too much information, but if you watch, you'll get some teases. Ha <laughs> ha. That's all we got. So, um, there isn't even a cover to it. So, but we'll figure it out. Whatever. But uh, I'm interested. So, fuck yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I think since we stopped talking about, we went through them all, and mm -hmm. this recording is an hour long. We can stop Jesus recording Christ. now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just, I'm excited. I'll add a fart noise in the middle cool. of when one of our, us are talking, so. I hope that, uh, I hope that, uh, I hope this isn't it. I hope they make more of these. Yeah, me too. Are you not recording anymore? I'm gonna stop it, like, right now. Okay, that's fine. Goodbye! <laughs>